Raven wants to take Rex. Listen to Boss Raven. Fight back. Come back. Looking for the killing blow here, they get the hook shot on the back lines. Mac on the Lena in trouble, even with the BKB, he's just being right clicked down by the Medusa. Though he's holding his own, he's looking to fight, he wants Raven, but Raven gets some mana back thanks to the shard. Tino running in, looking for the Medusa kill, he's not going to get the press, the attack saver's there, the call is not enough, and that's surely going to be GG. A little bit, they don't want to get caught here, Storm could go for a zip, but it's TNT who smoked themselves up as well, Tim's immediately pops it, but he gets helped out by the press, the attack gets the snowball off, the call's going to miss! The kiss is raining in from above, but a good place for the egg. There's nothing to actually hit it for now. The bubble's there to help protect the axe. Gabby looks for a new target. Death gets out of it, caught by the egg stun. Falling back into Shuan, looking for the kill onto Bok. We'll get him with an immediate buyback. Axe wants back in on this fight. Shuan on the axe, he's out on the storm, is out of mana. Raven's and Armel getting brought so low, and Gabs is going to go leaping and look to finish off these kills. Armel, he gets back to safety. He needs to play out, but he the leaps. Jabs, he actually snipes the tiny. And now Storm is trying to. Get the hell out of it. Doesn't have any mind to play around with the Arc Warden. He gets chased down. Gabby's just doing too much after getting the Sunder off. He gets get this Storm as well. He's killed off both the carry and the mid. Gabby doesn't have a Sunder though. Now he's in trouble with the death buyback on the axe. It should be enough to help bring him down. The cookie Sunder is there. And Gabby, no dunk to worry about. With the Storm buyback, he's going to be picked off. And Bok himself from the Legion Commander, he just fought back. This could be a dieback for him. Fnatic once again, similar to last game, using these buybacks so well. Damn supports. <laughs> yeah, so annoying. Storm just trying to bait some spells. It feels like they almost just can't and they just kind of bait spells. But every time they bait spells, they get jumped and bursted. We're going to see it again. BK this time, not the life stealer at least, but insta buyback it. It's like they poke the bait out of Cold Embrace, but they just die in the process of doing so. Mac's going to go ball in. He finds the backline, gets DJ, but instant Aeon just going to purge it off. And Sam H goes in the backline on a death Slardar, but. Not sure this is going to amount to a whole lot here as Fnatic just kind of disengaging, using the Edict to push the base here. They've lost their line, who will instantly buy back, but now they've got to worry about the support ultimate Storm looking for the support at the top here. He's going to find the Phoenix, but the Winter's Curse is there, and DJ Cold Embrace up once again as the supports is healing one another. Phoenix sunring himself up to the top of the map. He's Glimmer Cape as well. He's just unkillable. Instead, it's the Lesher who they do bring down. The supports are preoccupied, so they kill one of the cores, but he's got a second Death. life. Swan with the ace, he's gonna turn it around. Death with a nice blink, two hero crush, he's got the funnel as well to sit on top of him. And there's just no damage to deal with Fnatic. Tino, he's trying to life seal his way through this one. He'll get Death, but that's all he's gonna get, it looks like. No, perhaps Raven. Raven getting low, Swan getting low as well. Omega, they are, are potentially doing this. They're gonna get Raven, Eagle? they've killed off two. Can they get any more? Flying over the trees is the DK of the storm. He wants Jab, Jab, he cancels his TP. Oh no, <gasps> they don't realize. Jab's canceled his TP, but be a little bit careful with those that Pango able to very easily clear them up. Arrows flying through for vision. And Boom had that high ground ward above the Roshan pit, which is going to help them out here. They get the tornado on the brood. Rolling Thunder on through. They want to take out the brood first. Not sure it's a bit second. Rolling. He bounces. He catches out three. FBZ. Has he got any follow up? It looks like he's on an island, though. So Rolling Thunder is now on cooldown. And this is a Roche fight without Rolling Thunder. Suddenly TNC's thinking, maybe we can go into the pit. Well, he's You don't have to worry. Yep. No one commits. Arrow! Oh! Oh no! The arrow! What? It caught him mid dive! Blink Cole coming What's on that? in. Gabby with the Manta, he's going down, he doesn't oh. get saved. He couldn't get the Sunder off. Now the Bruce is forced to run for the high ground. And it's TNC. Who lose three? Armel goes down to the finger of death. Actually, no, they're gonna run in. They find Keskew. Armel. Gets the solo kill initiation. And now the rest of the team smoked up may be able to. Find a way to jump in. Armel is just going in head first. Blink hold though. Armel could be in some trouble. He may have overcommitted. There's the force off. He dodges the sun strike. The force off saves his life. Dream of Cell has to wait for another call now with the sun ray coming out from the Phoenix Soup Sun. Can they bring it down in time? Hide. He dies. He doesn't get it. They DDTB. It saves the egg. TB. He didn't get the BKB off, but he's still doing okay. He's still got the double damage. He's just wrecking through them. He's trying to get FBC who's just rolling thunder to get the hell out of there. Gets this can't see the, the low ground. The, the skin, yeah. the cosmetic, they can't see it. They don't know that he's DD. Look, <laughs> he's so Sun blue. Strike. Fishing, not gonna find it. And it looks like they are gonna try and hunt down and chase down Makoto, who does go into the ghost walk to get the hell out of there. Black Dragon. Blink call. They're going on the TP. Is there a cataclysm to follow this one up? They get the Sunray. They're trying to heal him. Gabby gets pulled into the egg. The they need to kill this egg. Can they get it? Where's the Mirana? They get it low and they get both. No buybacks. Oh no! It's a disaster! TNC! They've got to find a way to cut their losses here, but they've lost three, make it four! 
They're the ones going for the high ground push, and Boomy gets tipped. Whoa. He tried to pull the TP in. I think he, he had to. By the huge TP. Oh. <laughs> even, even with the Mirana dead, they were able to kill the... Well played by the Storm now. Now they fight BK in the mid lane. Pops a Ghost Scepter, still has Nae on disc as well. Isola gets pulled in by the taunt here. The follow up is there where they've got the Bloodthorn. He's silenced up. He will not survive through it. Did not get a chance to infest his way out of there. And the Bloodthorn. The Mega. Yeah, Bloodthorn. What an item pickup from Raven. We saw the damage it gave them there. And it's already back up. Very low cooldown. And they're going with the Blink Crush on the Dragon Knight. Can they bring him down now? Forces out of BKB. Now with the Blink Hole Raven. Once Sam H, whose BKB is going to be wearing off soon. Be a little bit careful. This Dragonite is slowing him down. Storm buyback with the zip, the Shivers. Gets a lot of damage out, but he's low on mana. Can't afford to die here. Max Speed silence up and gets caught by the Winter's Curse. The lean is hitting him. Life still is great. He's about to wear off. He goes for the Infest save. Great play with the Infest. And they take out the Leshrac once. Can they get a second kill here? They get the stun on the Raven. They want the Agnes. This is a good fight so far for Omega. Great use of the buyback. The egg coming in, but it's really far away. Just fully defensive here. Have they got the right clicks to kill? It's going to be close. DJ gets the three man stun off and will go for a dive TP. Perfect wraparound here. You see Bok and Armel actually not going for the initial kill. The hooks are going to come out, catches the Kunkka, the push back, the Ravage follow up, they blow oh. up the Kunkka. You're making sure there's no save. FBZ. Not leaving anything to chance, not letting a potential false promise save the Kunkka there. And now yeah, that puts the Medusa on the high ground. There is a buyback though, and Kunkka's gonna go for it with the Earth Spike initiation. They go in on Dreamer Cell with the TB damage. Is this gonna be enough? The four stuff's coming into play as Medusa gets the Stone Gaze out and is just gonna turn, look to bring down Bok. He uses himself, lifts himself up. That's gonna buy a little bit of time here. The egg on the back line, so that's doing all kinds of work as FBBZ just blinks in, tries to do what he can. The, the Exorcism actually manages to bring down the clockwork. Tim to oh. the front line, just jumping forward. Makoto getting very low in the leader, but still surviving through it all as Bok. Healed up, he's got the exit, he's running in, TNC, they're doing it, this fight going their way with the Medusa dead and the Tide, they're chasing the leader, that's all three cores dead, ultra kill for Bok, this exorcism, DP, kept alive. Gabby and Armel, Storm zips in, pulls the Tiny, Tim is there looking for a snowball to help him out, but the Tiny gets the BKB off, the right clicks coming from the Arc 1 on the low ground, they're gonna get the Jewel out, Axe may go down here, but he's got the Aegis just for this very purpose, so, just an Aegis. Can they kill him a second time? Armel has an avalanche perhaps waiting for him as he respawns. The Sunray there doing good damage as well with the egg. Can they kill the Supernova? I don't think so. It's positioned well on the high ground. Death's gonna get pulled back in. He goes down. The egg popped and stuns everyone. They overcommitted trying to get the egg, but a great vortex onto three. Oh, Fnatic. They catch everyone, but they're dying in the process. They've overcommitted here. Gabby's TP doing too much damage. Schwan, he tries to TP out, but he gets caught. Tim's with the Blink Walrus Punch. He stops the TP out. Raven's going for the buildings, but he can't do much more. Five acts coming in from TNC. If Stop Chuan's TP, they know this storm can't TP out, but he's got a lot of mana as Bok does end up going down. I think EA to be fishing finds the Venom. The Aeon just gets popped. The break? EA looking to Spectre. jump in with the break. Spectre gonna go Spectre. down. They got him. The Phantom Knife, immediate buyback with a hole. They want to try to fight this one. Less in the front line. Took a lot of damage with the three man coil. They're absolutely trapped. They overcommit. They were not ready for the Spectre buyback. Even the PA going down. Absolutely oh, destroyed. No. CML with the Ag Scepter is just stunning them up, but he knows he is one for this one. Even in the 4v5, Dreamer Cell goes running in. Exit from Bok. He gets stoned up immediately. The Dreamer Cell just going to look to disengage. He gets pulled back in by the X. He's losing his mana fast. Has to force off away. Does not want to hold his ground and fight into the TB. The TB blinking forward. There's the Blink Ravage with the Yule Scepter. It made the stun miss on Gabby. I don't think they've got the damage to deal with them anyways. It's going to be the Supernova stunning them up. Lean on the back line taking so much damage. Low on the sliver of health. We'll get the hell out of there as Medusa needs to be careful. Needs to find an escape. But with the X-Mark gets pulled back in. Gets brought down. No buyback on Deuce and TNC. Wait and see. Position down bottom is boom. Are they going to go for a jump here? Tim's. Ooh, he's very close to the vision here. Armel on the front lines. They go in. They blink in. They want to bring down Dream himself, but he gets helped out by the Lotus Door. Bok charges in forward with the BKB Exorcism. Has the damage to take out Kezq. Line with a buyback here. Does commit it instantly. But it's also the Phoenix in trouble in the trees. Here comes FBZ. Blinks in. The second set Pete now coming into play. They need to kill some of these heroes who don't have buyback. The Jug on the front lines. Doesn't have mana anymore. Doesn't have the spin. Could be in some trouble, but it looks like with the snapfire deep. going down the ra Whoa, Razor getting chased by Makoto. One more right click, it's not enough. The armor is enough. The ex Machina keeping him alive. Towards their vision, they see all of this. They're looking to get the jump here. 
Where are they going to find here? Blink Crush coming in from the start of the start things off, but he gets hit by a Dragon Tail. The follow-up not quite there immediately, but there's the call coming in from the actual egg right on top of it. And they protect it. They're going to need a witness curse. It comes with it's too late. They've already lost the egg. And without that, I don't know if Fnatic can take this fight. Here comes the Storm zipping in. Look for the support. He wants jabs. Raven on the back lines gets the DK with the colors way. Storm, Mac trying to finish off jabs. It looks like he will succeed, but he's out of money here. He's going to be careful to slaughter on top of him, but luckily, He's got backup now. Tino rocks up, and there is no answer. This tanky life stealer won't be able to bring down the slider. Oh, Raven the goes the in with a blink call. The Leshrac with the split earth setup. Oh, a perfect setup from Fnatic. Try maybe out of mana, but he just hit the split earth oh. of his life. The bash is on Tino. Tino just trying to turn and fight. He's life stealing. Isn't enough. Raven gets him with the call. Surely he's going down. Dunked for the exclamation mark, and Fnatic clean up. Oh. It looks. Yeah. yeah. Every now and then you get a game like this. <laughs> Big kill if they can get it. Top lane, they want the PA. They rotate everyone, then coil into the Ice Blast. Is there a turnaround here? They throw everything to kill the PA, but that means perhaps Omega can turn this one around. They're chasing with a Bushwhack. Oh. Three heroes caught in it. Perfect wow. play with a three-man split earth and the sharpshooter. Absolute Thanks. wombo combo. Uh, yeah, I think they have to base race. I don't think they can defend. They, they can't defend. They need to go for the base race now. Have a trap, but there's no creeps. They need creeps in the enemy base, and they just don't have that. So I'm not sure it's even an option. They're gonna have to defend these tier fours. They pop the glyph, trying to deal with some of these necro books and hit all these heroes. But Jug just jumping on in, throwing out the swift slash, doing what he can with the blade fury as well. But he's gonna be zoned back. The abyssal blade stuns him up, followed by a Nick stun. Four stuff gonna keep alive for a little bit longer here. But Bok in the front line, doing a lot of damage. Keeping up that exorcism. He used that refresher shot to make the play on the tier four yeah, towers. They're gonna be going for the throat. TNC, they're ignoring the heroes, they're going for the throne. Gabby with an Aegis of the Rapier, he's heating the buildings. He is going to die once, going to kill him a second time. They've lost Snapfire, they're focusing the buildings here. Armel, once again, the hitting the throne, Gabby's it's getting low, it's going to go down. Oh. GG. The Ninja Gear smoked to get a witness curse, but he couldn't find it now. Oh, they want the melee racks. Right field against four to the AoE Finger of Death. They get the racks, they got Mega Creeps in the fight. Now going to unravel Sarda. Goes on the back lines, gets CML, but CML, he's still alive on the line. He turns around, he does end up dying here. Oh, but the fall the main boots. fight. <laughs> what an item pick up. <laughs> has the face boots now as well, but that's going to be an item he can replace here. They go in, nice blink oh, call, but it's not going to be another win for Skirt. It's huge, but the infest save is there. Raven getting low. Raven just does not have the damage from this one. They kill the storm though. He's got no buyback. Finger from the side here. Lion doing all kinds of damage. Lean in the back lines as well. Just unleashing nuke after nuke. The three man. Mana drain. The lion backing up everybody here, but the DK getting low. They're going to lose the dragon. He's got a buyback here, but Tino on the life seal. There's just no answer for this man. The life seal is just too damn freaking tanky with the buybacks. Can they bring him down here? Both teams quitting everything. Here we go. Life seal brings out the axe without buyback. PJ has to dive away, and now Schwan. He's gonna just TP out, get himself out of there. They found a new target. It's Death on the slider. He's called and braced up. The Wyvern's there, but without a, without a winner's curse, there's not a whole lot he can do. Death is probably just gonna see his own demise here. Tino, oh, can't get him. Ghost Scepter is there. Death wants to fight. Tino gets the godlike streak. Death is still alive. He finally goes down. Shape of his Lina. He's just been an absolute glass cannon in the back lines, dishing out spell after spell. Trans Aeon this will keep him alive before they finally got jabs. This goddamn pesky Wyvern. They still can't bring him. The Cold Embrace is there. Can they kill him? They've got to get jabs and they'll sure it. No, they won't do it. The Ghost Scepter, E play jab. He's still die. living. He's got a blink out. He won't die. Oh, no. Why won't they he die? die. He's still oh, Cold Embracing. He's still saving people. Juan is still alive. The hell is this happening? Shakes has had enough. He's got a Laguna. Oh, he misses the LSA. TP out. Surely not. He oh, does go down. Jesus. Holy freaking shit. What the hell is going on? a great target if they can get. They don't know, they don't know. They're so patient. I don't think they've seen TNC yet. Healing one, high ground. The jump. They want to fight by the high ground. Blink in. Jug goes in with the blade fury. They follow up with this, the stun. Catching out a couple here. The Razor trying to just do what damage he can. And now the Supernova coming into play with the egg in a terrible position. Just gets blown up. Makoto doing what damage he can. Hurricane Pike to force himself away. But Armel in the front lines with 200 damage stolen. It's just wreaking havoc. He's going to force a central buyback. But without another Stampede, it's not the same fight. The double Stampede of the last team fight is just not here. Makoto is stunned up the channel. at the same time. It's, it's Roche time. Both teams know they can't just go into Roche. They've got to find a pick off first. Who's going to find who? Mac in the mid lane. His smoke gets popped. He doesn't get the zip off. He gets caught by the call. Is the chainsaw going to be there? Death is there. Mac goes down the splitter. The chainsaw was perfect. And now they're in full retreat on the Omega side. Sam H on the high ground with an Acceptor. is not going to... 
lead to a whole lot. It looks like full on retreat, 70 seconds by the Storm and Fnatic want another pick off if they can get it. They catch Sam H with a stun, but they also know if they want it, they can just fall back and take a Roche here. Almost buyback though, he just got the gold for it. He's gonna use it now with the Dragon Form still up. Omega, they wanna fight. Chases on, Storm zips from afar with the Shiva Sky. He's found the Wyvern jabs. jabs. He's been caught, hasn't got the air on just so he gets the self caught and brace off. Matt gets him with the pull. He silence up, they can't save Schwan. There's the Winter's Curse. It comes out on a Storm. It's gonna catch the life seal and it's all pulling him in. The egg in the pit as well. They can't deal with the egg. Sam H, he's gonna initially go for it, but realizes quickly he can't. Full on retreat, they force Storm into dieback. And Tino has no rage. He's gonna be careful, he's gonna find a way out. Lion fights back as well. Tino's just trying to hold his ground and fight. They can't kill anyone. The heals are too much. Jazz is on the front lines of the cold embrace, and he just is unfreaking killable. Is CML going to finally bring him down? Throws up the fingers that they're sick of this wyvern. They'll kill him, but he's going to buy back. Okay. Influences, influences the game so much. And instantly, D wards come. There's a gem. Oh, they only D warded one more. They didn't check the other spot. Oh, here we go, Blink Jewel initiation, they go in on Mac, but he gets the BKB off. Is the damage there with the Ice Blast and the Medusa? The Stone Gaze catching out too, they've already killed Lina and Lion. Sam H in full retreat with his BKB, he's so oh. low to stand and fight. And they've lost three, Mirana getting low, will get finished off by Chuan. Perfect initiation, Fnatic! Oh. They found the one fight they were looking for. This could be the big team fight. Smoke up, Moonlight Shadow in, Boom wanna go on this one, but I do TNC No, They're still lingering around. Dream Missile needs the vision. Armel goes for a spoke of his own. They go for the blink hole in, but they're not going to find it. The X crate, the uh, Cataclysm follow up is there. The Snowball coming on down as well. The Brute gets caught up in a tornado going through everyone. The Supernova coming out. Can they kill it? Hyde wants to commit. Mirana wants this egg. He's going to get it right before he dies. Perhaps saving this fight. And with the TP dead, this is looking terrible for TNC. Two kills apiece as Armel looking to maybe salvage it. They get the Dustin Makoto, so TNC actually making this one turn out okay. They're gonna lose one more though, the Void Spirit being taken out. Nothing happened since they last killed Rose Black. <laughs> what the hell, man? <laughs> There's no way they're getting this for free, right? Like, you know they're going we'll for Rose this method. Like, you need Armel, to do something about he's it. He's shadow bladed. He's gonna pop this, or at least scout them out. The arrow comes flying in as well. Legion walks into it. Uh oh. Armel still looking for the back lines here. They throw the egg out. Can they protect this one? Raven in there with. Oh god, that egg just melted in no time at all, but they're going to take casualties. Axe goes down. Meanwhile, Bok and the Legion command after taking the arrow dies as well. Raven, his clone, going to die first. They want the Mirana, who gets the leap away. It stays alive for now. This TB Metamorph is wearing off, so I think TNC has to be a little bit careful. They're still trying to finish off Roche. They feel like they've got enough time before Fnatic gets back, and this is so risky, and they're going to realize they can't do this against the Storm. Storm falls in. Luckily, TNC had already gotten out for the Tiny. He gets caught. The Pressy attack going to bail him out. They get the catch with the Warrior's Punch. Just the damage there. The call from Death. Axe! Saving the day, he wants Armel, but he gets a Shadow Blade off before a dunk can come in and Death may pay the price for saving his Storm. Storm out of mana, TP's back to base, but this may have secured TNC Roche, and luckily, Fnatic, they pull Roche out of the pit! And Raven with his clone here. Maybe Gabby. Yeah, Gabby, oh, helped him. up by the Presti attack. I'm not sure they can do this, the Storm's back and is more or less full mana with the clarity. Like, you At this rate, that is gonna be back up. Clone up he needs, he again. needs a lot of things though. He needs a Satanic, he needs an MKB. He, does, yeah. he needs an Aegis. Oh, this, this roll should they, be arrow? Arrow's gonna scout it. That's just an illusion, but this could set things up for the storm. You need it perhaps. Yeah, it's a lot of inventory space like, right now. Oh, they waited a second to blink it. Oh, it's Raven's clone that goes in. Meanwhile, jabs on the back line. He steals it. Good news, I guess, for TNC is that and the storm DJ. doesn't get it. And yeah, DJ's dead once. They should be able to get him a second time. They lost the tusk in the process, but he instantly gets stooled on respawn and Gabby. With the BKB, TB, nice steal from DJ, but I think the Storm really wanted it, and Storm may be thinking he could have had it. This was a team fight. Here we go, Fnatic have smoked up with this BKB timing, though. They send a Lesh Illusion. That's going to scout out Boomy because he mana drains it. Now Shuan in the front lines with the Lesh has a BKB of his own. Blink in from Pock, gets the Dragon Tail on Shuan. The Impale follow-up is there. DJ trying to keep him alive with the Nyx borrowed out. The Finger of Death is there. A lot of damage coming up with the Coil onto two. Abaddon getting hit by the Soulbind as well. He can't keep Jabs alive. Shuan with the BKB, life stealing a bit with the spells. Death with a nice Ravage takes out the Dragonite. Gabby luckily had the BKB. That helped keep the library. He's got the Rage back up now as well. He's looking to go back in here. Death on the Tide getting low, but... The heals just being too much from DJ for now. They want Chuan on the left track. He's trying to turn and fight. Looks for the split earth, won't get it. And with the DK buyback, the chase is on. Puck manages to orb away in a sliver of hell somehow. He keeps himself alive. Armel with the Yule Scepter now. He's managing to just juke his way through this one. The bird up Nix is in trouble. He's looking to get brought down by the life seal of Gabby. Does he have the damage? It's not enough just yet. The heals are there. Jabs, he's still alive. And with the silence on the life stealer, he's going to go down. He couldn't get the rage off. Fnatic, they're winning this fight. 
They can't get the DK a second time with the blink away. And Raven with the BKB on the high ground. Gabby just getting pushed back. Now he gets pulled in. He gets helped out by the Presti attack, though. Now he There's gets pulled up and with the Satanic up. Oh, into a call. They get him with the jewel. Axe death. He's overstayed. Yes, go He's welcome in this Radiant face. Now the kisses come raining in. DJ trying to cover him for the retreat. Jabs on the front lines with the BKB. They're going to force out an egg. Can they actually kill this Phoenix in time? Boomy, he goes down. He has the buyback immediately. TP forced to buy back. Bok just dying. This Ballista. Raven just unstoppable, keeping everybody at bay. They have to get on top of Raven. You can maybe protect yourself from a dark portrait, but that's it, DJ. Oh, Link's done. DJ's been found. And they pull him up before the borrowed time. Nope. They could have maybe gone for a finger and tried to catch them by surprise, but they were ready for it. The Nyx Assassin, meanwhile, not able to sun up the life still. He managed to get the rage off. Now Bokko charging with the BKB. Nice coil on the three. And with the Axe Scepter, they kind of completely suck. And this is Soul Bite. The day goes to follow it up. TNC. Gabby in the front lines with the BKB as well as the rage. The Ravage is not going to connect on anyone except the DK further away. Life Stealer manages to infest his way out of there. Comes back in. Re-engages with the dead. Abad and they want more puck. Actually managed to die in the back lines. They got the lockdown they needed. Gabby. Can he finish off jabs here on the Nyx? He's got the Aeon disc. The Nyx is just unkillable. It feels like. Yep. <laughs> He's just too tanky. Gabby goes charging back in with the blink dagger. He wants Schwan on this flash rack, but he's too tanky himself. Gets tied as the new target, but he just goes Ghost Scepter. Nothing to get rid of it. The three man mana drain coming in from the, the line. Who goes it for a finger of death? Not enough damage on the tide. He's not trying to finish him off the orb. He can't actually finish off death. Death somehow blinks back in. He's still alive, but the Nick's going down. And now Gabby, he's trying to just wreak havoc. The Wind Waker flash rack. He's trying to fly his way out of there. It's Tornado Alley as the Dagon. Brings the last track low. Gabby's Puck still chasing forward. This this life stealer is just unkillable. He's just constantly full health. Puck's still fishing for more on the back lines. Isn't going to succeed in doing so. Lion dies and buys back immediately. Nyx is still finding a new place to burrow one down. If they get this, Nyx has to die back, but he's tucked away nice and deep, Gabby. Oh, as he got the damage to get this kill, the split earth coming out, stunning up Bok, who has a BKB in two seconds, but he won't get a chance to pop it. He's dead without buyback. Luna buying back now as well. Gabby looking to turn and fight. He doesn't have to take panic. Doesn't have a way to life steal his way through this one. We'll go down and Raven has a triple kill. Split Earth under the high ground. They catch up Tim's. Tim's dead now as well with buyback.